It is 90.3 KEXP, and we stream all over the world at KEXP.org. My name is Troy Nelson. A very exciting day here at KEXP. I am extremely excited to bring this artist here to all of you live from the KEXP live room. It's the one, the only, John Mouse.
listening to John Mouse live here at 90.3 KEXP and there are people listening all over the world at KEXP.org. That song Streetlight from the 2011 album We Must Become the Pitiless Censors of Ourselves and uh, starting that set off my favorite song from the new album Touchdown. The new album is called Screen Memories. Thank you guys so much for joining us. John Mouse here with us in the KEXP live, round, uh, live room, joined by Joe, Luke, and Jonathan. Thank you all for taking the time to uh, stop by and do this. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. So between the albums, We Must Become the Pitiless Censors of Ourselves and Screen Memories was about six years. What, uh, what were you doing during that break? Well, it felt like a nanosecond. You know, it only felt like it was a week because I was in the middle of nowhere and uh, very few. But I built the instruments, you know, that I use for this. I finished some school stuff. Uh, it was, uh, and then worked on the album. So that counts for most of the six years. Was that when you were in Hawaii for a short no, period of time? No, no, no. Uh, I was just uh, out in Austin, Minnesota, mm -hmm. uh, where most of these guys are from uh, Austin, Joe, Joe and Luke are in, uh, mm -hmm. or John, sorry. But yeah, um, um, uh, that, that pretty much accounts for the six years. But like I said, it only felt like a week. Right. Time warp. So even though six years, did I read somewhere that you already have a new album ready to go? Or something called Addendum? Yeah, there was two, there's, there's, there was about two uh, uh, albums worth of material and they, the tracks sort of hung together in, in either case, you know, the Screen Memories tracks kind of hung together mm -hmm. in accord with one thing and this Addendum tracks in accord with another. So, so yeah, it was a, I've, I've been busy, uh, <laughs> busy for the last, uh, Six years. Yeah, yeah. You got married at some point in between yeah. there. And uh, you, so are you still in Austin, Minnesota? Yeah, at least uh, for a little while longer. Yeah. What can you tell people about the Spam Museum? I've never been, I've never been in it. Uh, I've never been in it. Yeah, it's one of those things like, well, we've never been. But uh, it's like one of the biggest tourist attractions in Minnesota, I think. Yeah. Yeah. See, Joe's my brother. And our grandfather worked at uh, Hormel uh, Corporate, and he went to the early configuration of the Spam Museum, and he said, it's all wrong. <laughs> it's all lies. It's not true. That's not what happened. <laughs> Only he knew the true story of, of Spam. So there's some Spam inside information yeah. that may be not His family folklore released. that he designed mm -hmm. the, uh, the, the, the parsley on the Hormel the logo. logo. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sure that's BS. But Probably. Yeah. I think we need to get to the bottom of this. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> this is a big I deal. Too. Yeah. Spam Museum. You grew up in this town of maybe 24,000 people, and you've never been to the Spam Museum. 
That blows. I grew up in a town that is world famous for a corn palace. Oh, yeah. I've driven past the corn palace, I think. <laughs> Have you really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not uh, for want of... Uh, uh, you know, wanting to go see it. I mean, we're not too, uh, we're not too uh, big for our britches. It's just uh, there's only so many uh, minutes in the day. You know what I mean? I can never find the time to do anything. Right, yeah. Well, I love the new album, Screen Memories, and I know a lot of uh, KEXP listeners do as well. We've gotten a great reaction from it. So Really? Yes. Well, well it must so. be a great reaction for the fact that the next three shows that you're playing are sold out. Yeah, I think I'm just cashing in on the goodwill of uh, the six years. Everybody's gonna, be... yeah. I mean, I hope I hope the new album is uh, is is good. I hope it is. I, maybe it's too heavy. You think it's too heavy? Too? Uh, I'm always worried. It's too. It's not. Uh, you can't take your shoes off and dance around in your socks to it enough or something like that. I oddly have <laughs> myself, but that's me. But maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. Yeah, no, I've. <laughs> Well, that's right, and I want to tell people, well, the show's at the Crocodile, but once again, a sold-out show at the Crocodile tonight, sold out in Vancouver, sold out in Portland, and I know that myself and listeners would love to hear a couple more songs from you if uh, y'all are ready. No, oh, thank you, thank you. Yes, thank you so much. It's John Mouse live here at 90.3 KEXP Seattle.
And that's John Mouse live here on 90.3 KEXP. That song, Pets, from the latest album, Screen Memories. Screen Memories is out on Ribbon Music. And I uh, want to thank, once again, John Mouse and Joe, Luke, and Jonathan for stopping by the KEXP studios for this fantastic, one-of-a-kind performance. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Absolutely. And uh, anything else you want to tell the listeners before we end this? Thanks for not changing the channel. <laughs> <laughs> That's a perfect note to end on. Thank you for not changing the channel. And keep it right here to 90.3 KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.